Well, this is the final week Shah will be working in Auckland. For the past five or six years, Shah has commuted to Auckland, which is a two and a half hour drive, leaving bright and early every Tuesday morning and coming home in either Thursday or Friday evenings. Spending the weekend here on the farm, doing farm chores with me, and then working from home on Mondays before repeating the whole process again. She'll be back on Saturday, having resigned from her job in Auckland. And I thought I would commemorate the occasion of her finally coming back to the land and joining me here permanently by building a little bench seat for our orchard, maybe with a plant that says something along the lines of, sit back and enjoy the fruits of your labor. We have this old wood here, which is old uh, Cypress Macrocarpa that the previous owner left. So I thought I might put it to some use. things first, attaching these together. Okay. We'll crig it I think. Yeah, let's crig it. One of those big proper Craig clamps to go in here so it doesn't move. where you pray that you've put the pocket holes on the right sides. <laughs> it's pretty good so far. Just make sure that's 
it's not screwed to the table. Looks like we're free. Perfect. Alright, so I've discovered that with this thick, chunky uh, backrest that goes on here, it's so thick that it actually takes up quite a bit of the seat room. So your butt is quite forward on this and your legs are hanging off. I want to get it so our butt can be as far back as possible. Um, but I've already shaped these and I don't want to make it thinner by um, shaping it down at an angle like that. So my idea, which I'm a little bit scared about, is to recess this board about three centimeters into this. So I'm going to be taking a three centimeter chunk out of that to sit this board into, which means only two centimeters of this board will be proud on top of this, like that. But it's kind of uncomfy with the thickness of this sort of pushing you forward. So I want it to look nice, but you know, I also want it to be comfortable. <laughs> Still, I have to be very careful, but I need to work fast. worked and we're pretty flat now so this is the brass pipe after beating it flat it's turned out pretty well now to sand it smooth so I made this little design this is what's called a resist which will go on top of the brass I will acid etch the brass and it will eat away at the white parts. The black will remain on the brass, preventing it from being eaten away by the acid. So we'll have these uh, little engravings where the white parts are and then I'll spray paint inside and then sand the top so only the engravings are filled with black. So right now it's inverted, you probably can't read that. Well, I won't reveal it now, I'll wait till it's done. So I won't go into detail, there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube about how to do this, but basically I'm going to heat this onto some copper, oh, sorry, some brass, and it'll, it'll actually stick to the brass 
So I didn't think there was any brass in the local hardware store, but it turns out there is. So all of that <laughs> nonsense of me flattening that, uh, that pipe, um, I think it's better off if I just go with this. Uh, I noticed that on the pipe that I had flattened, where it had grooves in for the pipe thread, it was actually really close to the other side, which I had made flush, so there wasn't actually that much depth to play with in terms of etching the depth of the engraving. So yeah, I just got this. Hopefully that'll do the trick. Times 10. <laughs> This whole corner's gone, so my options are either scrape all of this off and try again, or just try to colour that in with a vivid and try to replicate that design. Uh, I'll give that a try first. Sharpie's not fine enough. Now we wait. Just putting a base on it, some baking soda to neutralize the acid. It's like it's etched in maybe a mill, which is what we want because the Brass sheet is pretty thin, maybe only two mil max. Well, that turned out better than expected. This is after the ferric chloride etch. You can see that it's got some depth to it. So I'll give that a spray with spray paint and then sand the top of it so all the letters fill in with black. I'm really happy with that. Turned out way better than expected. That's a really cool process. Awesome. Oh. All right, it is 4.30 p.m. on Friday and Shah's home at about 3 p.m. tomorrow. So I've got to get this up into the orchard after this dries and uh, leave it there as a surprise.
you never know what fruits you're going to find in the orchard. <laughs> Just making a level surface to put some gravel down to sit the feet of the bench on. So it's got some drainage underneath it, so it doesn't rot. I'll also oil the bench to give it some waterproofness, but first I will consult Shah on what oil she wants. She might want like a dark stain oil on it or just a normal one. I know that lichen and things like that can grow on the more organic oils like oiled linseed, so might go for something a bit different, more hardy for outdoors. So we get a lot of lichen and green growth and stuff like that growing on our surfaces out here. Ask why the gravel is in a slick. <laughs> Long story. Something to do with the water wheel. <laughs> Could do with some more gravel, but that should do for presentation purposes. Alright, well I need to let the plaque dry on the wood overnight and so I'll bring it out and put it here in the orchard just before Shah arrives tomorrow. with one flat tire. You know, Shah is so many wonderful things, and uh, well, I'd be here all day if I were to list them all. I guess this is to commemorate her not only coming back to the land to live here finally, as was our dream, but just a little nod and appreciation for how much hard work 
and sacrifice she's made to give us this wonderful dream here. Hi. Always interrupting my shots, huh? But one of the most astounding things about Shah, at least to me, is her ability to work tirelessly to achieve a goal. She's worked 12 hour days sometimes, and like I said, commuting to Auckland and back every week for the past six years, only to come here to work on the farm for the weekend, though she loves that kind of work. She'll be home soon. Hope she likes it. And now to clean up the absolute sty of a workshop. First sitting. Welcome back to the land, baby. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Does it get the mark of approval from the cat, Your Royal Highness? I think so. It's your throne now, isn't it, Jay? <laughs> <laughs>